What's going on YouTube, it's your boy OGT Man, and today we got Hip Hop Has an Age Problem. Now I hope you're talking about everybody getting old and not about all this, this other heresy shit or whatever the case may be. But um, yeah, without that being said, let's go ahead and get into the video. Whether it's old heads hating on the new generation of rappers, you nice. Yeah, I'm good. Y'all get to y'all get to like 27, 28, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and y'all niggas get to struggling, and y'all come, y'all be trying to come back I'm gonna tell to you find what, that sound. I ain't gonna struggle, bro. All right, we're gonna see. Or legends like Nas and Eminem not willing to hang up the mic as 50 year olds. Hip hop fans are genuinely concerned about what will happen when the current kings of the genre decide to ride off into the sunset. And how will rap survive when the stars that should have been waiting in their wings are far less respected than the rappers who came before them? <clears throat> it's your boy Luesta, and today Luesta. we're investigating hip hop's age problem. As a genre that thrives on aggression, ambition, and the desire to be the life. best, veterans have always acknowledged that there would come a time where they would have to make way for the stars of tomorrow. I think that rap in particular is a young man's sport, that I'll move out of that white hot space. But rap is about the gift of discovery. Mm. To be the cool person in school, you have to know the newest music, the newest dance move, have the newest clothing on. So rap is based on that, what's new. With the fame that they cemented for themselves, today's rap legends aren't going to suddenly disappear off the face of the earth. In the perfect world, those who aim to remain relevant would gracefully take a step back and allow the new generation their moment in the spotlight. This is something that legends such as Big Daddy Kane, Rock Him, LL Cool J, and other heavyweights did for up and coming rappers in the past. However, this certainly wasn't enough for the last generation of hip hop. Instead, we have people like Lil Uzi Vert saying, shout out to all the young rappers, remember the old must die, back in February of 2018. Now, it shouldn't be surprising this was the energy they were giving off at the time, being that veterans like Joe Budden were openly criticizing and disrespecting new rappers like Lil Yachty and- Joe Budden always got something to say with his bald head ass. Jesus, sit your ass down somewhere. Go make some fucking money. Go do some with your, your time with that little funky ass hat. I'm tired of Joe Button. For not showing not enough Button respect for the bitch. genre's roots. I feel like the new generation is the outcast, but I feel like I'm the top outcast. Let me tell you something, right? Now that's interesting. That's bullshit. Even legends like Eminem were name dropping and calling out tons of new rappers in his songs for being cheap imitations of the greats that came before them. Finger bang, chicken wang, DJ K, Inga Zay, Lil Pump, Lil Zan, imitate Lil Wayne. That's the name and everybody in the game, pick a name. And as the so called mumble rap era began to pop off, guys like Vince Staples went as far as to express their disgust for rapping past the age of 40 saying that he felt as if his lyrics simply wouldn't resonate with his audience once he's past that age. Perhaps it's not what older MCs want to hear, but the history of hip-hop continues to reveal that it has a vendetta against rappers past a certain age. For instance, back when Soulja Boy and Ice-T were beefing back in the day, what was the first thing he did? Well, take- Why the fuck were they beefing? You know what? I don't want to know. Never mind. Scratch that. For yourself. This nigga Ice-T old as fuck! <laughs> In today's game, things couldn't be more different. Not only are many of the icons from the 90s still relevant, but the current three leading rappers, Drake, Kendrick, and Cole, are all on the wrong side. Amazon is overcharging. Because they out here over here beefing and shit. That, that's why. That, that's why of 30. This is a complete 180 from the rest of rap history, as for so long, no one wanted to hear grown people rapping. Seeing multi-millionaire family men continue to lead the charge goes against everything that we're used to. And strangely, nobody is willing to acknowledge this, other than someone like Andre 3000, who stands out as somewhat of an anomaly. Like even now, like, people think, oh man, he's just sitting, sitting on raps, or like, he's just holding, or holding these raps hostage like I ain't got no raps like that like it's, it's it actually feels sometimes it feels inauthentic for me to rap because I, mm -hmm. I don't have anything to talk about in that way like I'm 48 years old and not not to say that age is a thing that dictates what you rap about but in a, in a way it does despite a massive outcry from his fans begging for new music Andre 3000 has been largely absent from the rap game for years now people lose their minds and hope that just maybe his debut solo album would be on the horizon no. but at every turn he's expressed his issues with rapping as a middle-aged man and finding the inspiration required to do it uh, I'm trying to figure out where do I where do I where do I sit you know 
I don't I, I don't even know what I am and maybe I'm nothing maybe I'm not supposed to be anything maybe yeah. you know my history is kind of handicapping in a way yeah and so I'm just trying to find out what makes me feel the best right now yes. and what makes me feel the best is when I just do these random kind of instrumental kind of things you know they make me feel they make me feel the most Rebellious. This may explain his choice to make a dedicated flu album rather than something rap oriented. But Andre has also explained that he's concerned with following the footsteps of many MCs from previous generations who constantly fail new projects. Even just the origin of the word um, hip hop, first you have to be yeah. hip. <clears throat> and the older you get, you get further away from the hipness. I mean, you can know what's going on, but you know, there's always new slang, there's always new rhythms, new patterns, all that kind of stuff. And once you start trying to imitate that thing, I mean, people see it, man, you know, and it, it becomes embarrassing. Maybe I should start rapping. You know what? Fuck it. Maybe I should start rapping. Let me know down in the comments below. At, at a point. And, um, and this is just my personal opinion. Like, I, you know, just feel like I, you know, wouldn't have much to offer, you know, to the game after a certain point. For a long time, most rappers would have agreed with Andre. But yet, something strange happened. Not only were rappers unprepared to let go of the fame and fortune, but fans weren't ready to let them hang it up either. Most of all, the lack of replacements was unsettling for both sides. As a result, a major disruption in hip-hop's normal functions had been formed, which presents a huge problem only a few short years away. As recently as the mid-2010s, retirement was still considered the inevitable end to a hip-hop career. After starting his artistry as a teenager, Lil Wayne publicly declared that he'd be hanging up the mic long before he hit 40. Mm, I always said I didn't want to do this no more after 35. I ain't wanna do it no more at the 35 so. And even though his fans on his subreddit claim that they think it's time for him to call it quits, stating that his low energy and health complications are signs that he would be better off just sticking to features, Wayne has proved everything he could and then some. A whole 13 years after he stated his retirement plan, the 41-year-old Wheezy is still going strong in the game, and even critiqued Andre 3K's view on older rappers as very depressing. I feel like that's why you gotta stay in it though too. I feel like you can't be too far removed. I also thought that I thought that may be a downfall by staying in it because you may, at our age, you may hear what's going on and feel like I'm so out of that that I can't. I ain't about to drop nothing. I don't, I'm, I'm not about to. <laughs> so you probably feel so that's why Weezy face looks so fat. Damn. I know. I hope that ain't age. See, I don't listen. Just go in my little hole. It's true to you though. Yeah. It's just I love what I do. Yeah. Put it out and. Look at his face, bro. I know I'm not tripping. Weezy, what the hell you been eating? I hope it ain't been Mickey D's, because that shit is not sitting right with you, my brother. It is not. Go for it. Swing for the fences, man. To Wayne, he's at a place in his career where he can simply rap for fun, whilst also knowing that there will always be a fan base ready to listen whenever he drops. But it's fair to say that despite his legendary status, Tunchi hasn't been at the top of the game since, at best, the Carter Five back in 2018. He's more known for his iconic features rather than his own body of work these days. The problem with legends like Wayne sticking around is that it's taught the big three of modern hip hop that they don't need to make an exit anytime soon. For instance, back in 2016, Drake put the same deadline on his rap career as his Young Money mentor did, which he expressed in songs like Western Road Flows. I'm assuming everybody's 35 and under. That's when I'm planning retirement, it's already funded. Before that, he told Complex that rapping is about being young, doing your thing, and being fly. Before then alluding to a time when singing, rather than spitting, would be his focus down the road. It's a direction that I can't wait to go. I mean, I'm really looking forward at some point. Not right now, because I feel like I obviously have a, a couple more rap albums to make. But I'm looking forward to giving you that, that moment, you know, my version of whatever, you know. Like, I remember hearing 808s. Hi, we're visiting. Damn, man. The rap shit is finna go down here after this, like no bullshit. Come on, guys, let's get in the studio. We all got. I'm looking forward to giving you my version yeah. of like a full singing record one day. Drake is now 37 years old, and similar to Wayne, he too went back on his word. I know you said on Western Road Flow that you're gonna retire at 35, but is that your reality? Retiring at 35? Um, no, not anymore. Okay. I think when I was like 20 something, it sounded it sounded better. <laughs> I just turned 33. I do have trouble thinking to myself rapping like past 40. Even with one eye on retirement, he can't help but churn out more creativity as if his work isn't finished. I feel like I'm 
kind of introducing the concept in my mind of a of a graceful exit like mm. it's a really addictive competitive space i guess like what's left for me is just to find a way to gracefully like continue making projects that are extremely like interesting and hopefully cherished by people and then to find the right time to say like i can't wait to see what the next generation does i'll still be around to like you know work with people or do a sh do a show here or there but i'm not going to like force myself mm -hmm. to compete i would love to just see what the next generation um does whenever that time is. While Drizzy is in the process of engineering the perfect exit, fans go back and forth in a ruthless debate over the effect of his retirement. While some point to his age as a reason to call it quits, many struggle to accept his departure with the glaring absence of an artist to fill those shoes. Drake can't retire just for music's <laughs> sake, and this is gonna make me sound like an old hater, but yep. this is the first time in rap history, in my opinion, that there hasn't been a, a solidified new generation of superstar like every single generation we've had the biggest person could retire because we knew we had this next generation that was solidified now i thought little baby was that and i'm not saying he's not but it's shown that it may not be that case off his last album I there is no this is the first time we won't have a new superstar solidified it could be argued that artists like Drake are holding up the process. For example, when Jack Harlow was tipped to be the next Drizzy, he got him featured on his song Churchill Downs, only for the word to say that he got absolutely washed on his own track. Besides that, what incentive does Drake have to quit? Alongside the fact that he's still selling out stadiums, people are constantly seeking new music from him. In layman's terms, the Six God has no incentive to back out, and he's not the only one finding himself in this predicament. Following the offseason, J. Cole, who makes up one-third of rap's big three, mapped out exactly what's coming next, with all roads leading to his album The Fall Off, which he hinted at dropping way back in 2018. Much like 3K, Cole's original plans for The Fall Off to be his final album came from self-preservation after he started feeling comfortable. I had lost some of that bite, and I was trying to get that shit back. I'm like, yo, go right. Go write a fire verse, like with bars and boom, boom, boom. And them shits was falling flat. And I was like, oh, you lost a step in this regard. Are you comfortable? And it was like, yo. And I had a real talk with myself. I was like, yo, bro, you accomplished a lot. That album was, you know what I mean? That shit went crazy. The tour went crazy. It's like, yo, you made it to where you wanted to make it to. Do you even want to keep going? Or do you want to just like chill, go start a family and like just just chill like are you cool do you want to retire right now despite laying out his exit from hip-hop cole has been rhyming at the top of his game it's almost absurd that he was named as complex's best living rapper in 2023 despite the fact that he didn't even release a project that year regardless of where you stand on this accolade the bottom line is that this should be impossible for a 39 year old to pull off with the world telling him that he's the best in the business it's unsurprising that he's not walking back those retirement plans which became evident on a recent snippet where he rhymed yeah said i was finished but i'm on another two summers hall of fame i'm hungrier than not a newcomer and the case is no different for the legendary kendrick lamar while it seemed like he had moved out of the realm of picking fights taking a more artistic approach with his album mr morale and the big steppers k-dot's recent shots at cole and drake are one of the biggest stories in hip-hop right now with many viewing it as a testament to how fixated the game is on these long-standing idols in a manner that greatly contrasts with our investment into new rappers kendrick is here to keep hip-hop alive hope he stays we need more sure we're all invested into the drama that came from kendrick's verse on the song like that but for kendrick to be the one to keep hip-hop alive we should be well past the point where that's his responsibility but at the moment hip-hop's leading artists and their supporters are collectively unable to pave the way for a changing of the guard or at the very least just don't see where it's supposed to come from but it just seems like there's a lot of legends that are still around looking at the drakes the kendricks the poles the kanye west the tyler the creators the Nas's, all these people i'm not personally ready as someone who's investing into the genre for them to take a bow and pass the torch on to the next set of industry leaders because i feel like the rap game would be on life support bro if, if, we, if you would remove all those names i just mentioned and of, of course a couple of others that i didn't mention but if you remove those legends and those established acts what are we what are we really left with in terms of the mainstream the problem is that you need people to come in and occupy that space at the top of the industry to eliminate the reliance we've built on these legends after all 
Nas scooped up his first Grammy in 2021 and still raps at an elite level as he slowly teeters past the age of 50. Similarly, Eminem said that he wouldn't be releasing any music after the age of 50 way back in the year 2010. However, he's still going really strong today, which he claims is due to the love of the art and not knowing what else he should be doing after rapping. But I'm still trying to figure shit out. You know really? what I'm saying? Like, as long as I've been in the game, I'm always trying to figure out new flow patterns and new, mm. you know what I'm saying? Like new cadences and shit. I'm trying to still trying to always get it right, you know? Even Andre 3000 is caught up in this idea. Despite his recent comments that I discussed earlier in this video, he said that he would love the ultimate challenge of making a rap album at 48. Again, we find ourselves asking the question, where do we go from here? This issue has ironically surfaced at the time of hip hop's middle age milestone of 50 years. This feat exceeded expectations on its own as rap's lifespan was supposed to be cut short a long time ago. Because hip hop, was something that wasn't supposed to be here for this long. I'm mm -hmm. sure you know, Big. Yes, sir. And the more we do that, the more they'll try to tear it down. Now a serious multi-million dollar business, rather than a trend meant to fade out of the mainstream, the infancy of hip hop has always suggested that it's a field of creativity and development. But with Cole, Kendrick, and Drake still on top, that process has slowed to a halt without modern motivation to keep the fire burning bright. And what makes it worse is that when there's a potentially game-changing artist that enters the scene, like Juice World, XXX Tentacion, or Pop Smoke, they sadly pass away for unforeseen circumstances. For fans, it really does feel like the next big names were sadly taken away before they could reach their potential and contributed to this va Exactly. I wanted to see X and Juice with their album. <laughs> that shit would have been fire. I ain't no guy. But that's the end of the video. Let me know in the comments what y'all think about this standpoint. I think he actually spitting some shit though, cause it's like after those big names that the white dude mentioned, what do we really have? You know, little baby ain't doing what he's supposed to do. I don't think Gunner can hold it up. Young Thug, I forgot how fucking old he was. This is Juice X Pop and. Fucking who? Mama, mama, that dude who was talking about a middle child with wit ex, that's, they, they just been, took him from us, and it's like, damn. Drake do has an age problem. You two has an SA farm problem, I don't know. Rap, hip hop has a violence, a violence and drug problem, not an age problem. Juice World, King Von Pop Smoke, Nipsey Hussle, Young Dog. The rappers who were supposed to replace Ace of Grapes are all going to do to drug and violent shit to see. That is true. That's true. Now we just left with... Like I said, let me know if y'all want to see me rapping. I don't know, I'll, I'll get in that motherfucking studio. Just, rapping on these days for a motherfucking minute. Take these niggas for like a lieutenant. Getting the cash up, getting the green, the digits. Telling these niggas I'm rapping on. And then I'm telling these niggas I'm rapping with sending them. So I got the... I got the... I got the mindset of a minutes rolling up. I used to be, he had, uh, I used to be a lieutenant, cashing up checks and getting them out to the niggas. You know what the fuck I'm talking about? I used to be struggling nine to five. Now I've been on this nine to grind, trying to make YouTube hoop and get signed, trying to make sure the cash coming to these niggas. I'm steady drumming like the beat. I'm steady drumming, coming up on the drum line. I got hella hits. I got a time to these niggas. I feel like a country by you gon' love me forever or love me for not to these niggas have and I have not. Is we is here for the have ins or the have nots. I've been making cats like Tyler Perry. Take these niggas to shit getting kind of scary. Running out with a dope up beside my back and tell these niggas take out like a fucking rack. I got too much music inside my planet. Tell these niggas roll it up like a plan and light a flash. Air switch and tell these niggas the new rap career smoke like a listening. Ah! Let me stop. I'm not even rapping for real. But I could get in that bitch if I wanted to. But, anyways, let me stop making this video so long. It's your boy OGT Man signing out. You